My dear brothers and sisters, um, <clears throat> the gospel today uh, is telling us uh, about uh, our Lord sending out uh, uh, disciples and apostles. Um, <clears throat> uh, sila po ay uh, um, tumutulong sa ating Panginoon para sa pagpapalaganap ng kanyang mga aral at uh, siya po ay uh, uh, tinutulungan itong mga apostol at uh, mga disipulo. Well, maybe if you think about it, uh, so, now it's 2024. Uh, so, in other words, uh, napakahaba na rin yung uh, uh, um, <clears throat> buhay ng uh, mga apostol, the apostles, and uh, the disciples. Imagine 20 uh, to uh, 24 years. And you can just imagine how long uh, that uh, uh, time is uh, for us. And uh, maybe we can uh, also think of the apostles and disciples who were really uh, 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 starting uh, what our Lord said, the uh, uh, apostolate of uh, the uh, apostles then. Uh, our Lord said when he left uh, the, the world and returned to his heavenly father, a sinabi uh, go into all uh, the countries and places, go and uh, preach to all nations, sabi ng ating Panginoon, and sinabi niya, na you baptize uh, the people and uh, uh, baptize people and uh, uh, give them uh, their Christian life. So, uh, dear brothers and sisters, when our Lord uh, told them apostles. Well, uh, they had to be uh, very, very uh, uh, poor in the sense that Sinabi uh, dito instructed them to take nothing for the journey. No food, no sack, no money in their belts. Well, of course, in the po um, really true um, what our Lord was saying was that um, no food, no sack no money in their belts um, it uh, sounds impractical pero ang gustong sabihin ng ating Panginoon ay uh, that you should uh, <coughs> uh, preach and go to uh, the people and uh, be simple and that uh, you do not uh, work for money and that uh, you should uh, not have food. That means you should not be craving for foods so that uh, it would be easier for you to uh, uh, preach to uh, to people uh, at that time. So, um, our Lord uh, was uh, telling that uh, we should really do our work as his followers or as Christians. And uh, that is why kahit noon, mga kapatid, ay may asawa yung mga apostol except John the Baptist. Kaya sinabihan din ng ating Panginoon na you uh, 
already uh, um, uh, forget your family, you know, so as to be able to do more work when you're preaching and you're, you're teaching the words and the uh, order of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ngayon mga kapatid, kaya nga kami mga pare ay uh, yung tinatawag na we live in a celibate life. Meaning to say that there is uh, poverty, uh, chastity, and obedience. So, uh, yan po ay uh, <coughs> uh, ginawa ito uh, para ang mga pare ay full-time sa kanilang trabaho. Kasi kung may roong pamilya, nahihirapan po dahil uh, dalawa ang loyalty mo, yung family, and then your work in the church. That's the reason why uh, we have this vow of celibacy. Oh. Oh. So, <laughs> uh, alam niyo kaya mahirap sabi ng mga kuminsan gustong pumasok sa pagkapare dahil uh, wala daw uh, asawa no wala ng asawa eh uh, that is the reason why we have this um, this uh, celibacy yung dinatawag na hindi pag-aasawa ang mga pare so yan ang dahilan kung bakit mayroon itong uh, vow of celibacy. So, my dear brothers and sisters, ang sana po huwag natin kaliligtaan na hindi lamang po yung mga pare ang naglilingkod sa simbahan o apostolado. <clears throat> Dahil kayo, yung mga lay people, are baptized, then you should also help in uh, the service of the church. So, anong ibig sabihin yan? That, for example, there are some lay people who go to uh, public schools uh, administering catechism sa mga estudyante. So, in other words, that we should also go out not only to these Catholic schools, but also to the public or government schools in order to teach them the catechism or religion. Alam niyo may mga kakilala ako na talaga po naman naglilingkod sa, for being a catechist. And uh, uh, they do it because uh, they have to teach and uh, to reach out to these people so that they have catechism or religious instruction. So, yan. And uh, there are also those who are uh, in the church, like what, you know, we see, uh, lector, commentator, uh, at saka yung mga paglilingkod uh, uh, and uh, this is part of the service or the apostolate of the lay people like you so uh, there are some who are really good Catholics who are really doing a lot uh, without asking so much money in order to help. May mga <laughs> halimbawa eh, galing sa kanilang uh, office and they go to the uh, parish and then they they hold meetings and they uh, for example the Legion of Mary I was also a member of that na tulungan yung mga nasa uh, lugar na uh, hindi naaabot ng mga uh, ng mga pare 
for example, to help them to reach out to the reach out to these people who are not going to church. So, itong mga ito and many others, my dear brothers and sisters, this is part and parcel of our uh, vocation, of our apostolate. And wag din yung sasabihin na kayong mga lay people uh, are just listening to homilies, uh, but rather to do something to reach out to people and because uh, the priest cannot, uh, the parish priest and assistant parish priest cannot all reach these people. That's why we should also uh, participate in the service of the church. So tanungin natin ang ating mga sarili, mga kapatid, ano ba ang uh, apostoladong ginagawa natin pangtulong sa simbahan at paggawa ng sinabi ng ating Panginoon go out into the whole world make disciples of all nations baptizing them and teaching them about the uh, <coughs> teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ so let us pray brothers and sisters that we should also think of what we can do for our church and uh, have an apostolate. And this is what uh, uh, others are doing in many churches of our country. Alam ninyo, yung paglilingkod na yan ay uh, uh, wala silang uh, sweldo, no? Sweldo. And as somebody said, the uh, service, the apostolate that we are doing is hard and long. However, uh, they say that uh, these services may be hard and difficult, but the social service and the rewards are out of this world. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? Uh, our reward will not be so much here in this world, but it is in the next life in heaven. Amen.